Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a cafe macchiato. Firstly, just to point out, I'm talking about cafe macchiato, also known as espresso macchiato, which is a traditional Italian macchiato. I'm not talking about latte macchiato. If you wanted to know how to make a latte macchiato, it's simply a latte with the espresso pulled into the milk instead of pouring the milk into the espresso. And you end up with a layered drink instead of the espresso and milk being integrated. So what's a cafe macchiato? Macchiato simply means marked or stained in Italian, and a cafe macchiato is an espresso that's been marked with milk foam, so it's literally an espresso with a small amount of steamed milk. But here's a thing I want to make clear with this video, as I did with my videos on how to make flat white and other various how-to videos on making other milkies, is that the beauty of being able to make espresso at home is you can make it however you want it. If you go to various different coffee shops, even in the same town or city, and ask for an espresso macchiato, you'll probably get a slightly different drink at each cafe. And different countries seem to have slightly different takes on what a cafe macchiato or espresso macchiato is too. So there's no right and wrong. It's literally just down to how you want it. So what I'm hoping to do in this video is simply to introduce you to the basics of the drink, lay the foundation so you can experiment from there and work on making your perfect cafe macchiato. And I'm gonna be using an espresso machine for this because it's the easiest way to make espresso. But if you haven't got an espresso machine, I'd recommend using an AeroPress and watch this video on making the closest to true espresso with an AeroPress. So let's make coffee. So we're using the, the Longi Les Specialista Arte because I had it already set up already here in the studio from the last video so I thought why not use this click here for the review or the second video I did on this because the first one didn't go very well because it leaked but anyway in my humble opinion the original version this is what I want to kind of show the original traditional or what I think was probably the first macchiato would have been a shot of espresso I'm going to use a double shot of espresso just topped up with a small amount of traditional cappuccino foam. So that is what I think is an, an original cafe macchiato. So I'm gonna make that first. We've got the espresso. So now we're just gonna steam some milk. And to steam the milk, I'm gonna do cappuccino or old school cappuccino foam, meaning I'm gonna stretch the milk with a bit more of a gap to allow a bit more air into the milk. First of all, I'm gonna stir. It's up to you, again, whether you stir or not, but you're distributing the crema, so that bitterness that you get in the crema is distributed a bit more within the, uh, throughout the drink. And then for this kind of traditional macchiato, I would do that and just end up with a nice dollop of foam on the top of your espresso. And there we've got what I would refer to as a more old school macchiato. But it's completely up to you. You can do whatever you like. You can keep tweaking the milk until you've got it exactly how you want it. And you can do different sizes and so on. And that's what we're going to do next. So next, I'm just going to do a little bit more of a modern twist on macchiato, which tend to be slightly bigger drinks with a bit more milk. And for that, I'm actually going to use this six ounce keep cup because it's the only glass that I happen to have around that's slightly bigger than the espresso glass. This might be a little bit on the big side for a macchiato. You could argue that we're going towards cortado or even flat white, but I'm just going to do double shot into this, pour some milk into it. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up to the top, but I'm gonna steam the milk to the more modern microphone texture to make what a lot of coffee shops will serve as an espresso macchiato. So basically, still double shot, just a bit more milk, so it's not quite as intense. We've got the shot. And now we're gonna steam a small amount of milk to the more modern micro foam texture. Intermittent flipping paper sound. Just gently aerating the milk, gently stretching it. And 
so you think it's stretched enough. And I reckon that's about right, and then just raise the jug slightly to stop that aerating. You just roll in the milk and heat it in there. It's about hot enough. I reckon that's about between 60 and 65, which is how I like it. Celsius, that is. You can see now we've got much silkier microfoam. So it looks like melted ice cream or gloss paint. It's quite a bit different to the milk texture we had before. And I've not tried to do much latte out because I didn't want to pour too much milk in. Instead of a spot, I've got a little bit of a heart thing going on. Or maybe a slightly wonky tulip. We're kind of crossing lines. We're going towards, you know, a small flat white that's probably four or five ounces in there. Well, that's more along the lines of an espresso macchiato you might get at some coffee shops. So it just depends on what you want. That has got the consistency of flat white, but it's more intense than most flat whites that you'll probably get from coffee shops, depending on where you go, obviously. They're the two main kind of espresso macchiatos that you'll find in different coffee shops. Try them, see what you think. Maybe somewhere in between is what will be right for you. Or maybe one of these is perfect. As I've said, just keep trying, tweaking things and seeing what you prefer. Try different milk types as well. I'd recommend trying, as well as, you know, if you normally drink cow's milk, try some of the oat milks because I've had the, my eyes opened where that's concerned recently. I would always use in the past cow's milk and I'm using cow's milk now because it's easy to steam but I've been playing around with lots of different oat milks and I've actually found and I'm not going to say which because I'm going to do another video on it but I found a couple of oat milks in particular which are brilliant. They taste really quite similar to cow's milk but they're just a little bit sweeter, not too sweet but they're a little bit sweeter. They just lift the coffee and make for some really nice tasting flat whites and espresso macchiato and cappuccino. So that's something else to, to say is if you always drink one kind of milk, just try, try others. Try things like oat milk or soy milk, for example, as well. But just keep trying things, just keep playing around. And hopefully you'll end up making your own perfect espresso macchiato. Cheers. So there you go. You now know how to make a cafe macchiato at home. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to click the like button. Thanks. Scientists are working on creating nano robots out of human DNA to study cell processes inside the body. And that doesn't have a great deal to do with clicking the like button. True, but click it anyway. Thanks. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one. And don't forget to become an official coffee botherer. You need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.